Um, let me go back to LA, just to Los Angeles briefly. Um, not that it's by any means the only model, but it's a very interesting one. Uh, in this particular case, just so look at your geography. So some of you are feeling sorry for yourselves because you have to deal with a city of Toronto, and then you also have to deal with Metrolinx, which is bigger, and then you have to deal with the province of Ontario, and that's a bunch of different layers of government and they can get in each other's way. <laughs> Cry me a river, here's how it works in LA. <laughs> there is something called the city of Los Angeles, which is shaped like a drunken, semi-amputated octopus, completely graphic geographically entangled in a bunch of other municipalities. There are a total of about 200 municipalities. In Los Angeles County, which is the level at which the transit agency is designed, the transit agency metro spans all of Los Angeles County, except for about a third of the county where different municipalities have historically run their own transit systems that are tangled up. And the two transit systems are tangled up at each other. They have different colors. They put up different bus signs next to each other and pretend that he can publish maps in which the other network doesn't exist, even though they're in the same area. And then, um, and then above the level of Los Angeles County, we have um, the regional funding authority. Uh, federal funding comes in not directly to Metro, but through a regional agency of five counties called the Southern California Association of Governments. You have to deal with them. And then above that is the state of California and Caltrans, which of course controls all the roads. Uh, that you have to work with, and then above that is, of course, the higher, the much larger, more intrusive, and more and and uh, much more controlling federal bureaucracy, the Federal Transit Administration. You know, you got it pretty easy here. It's all pretty simple. Um, and 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 the Metro Rapid was achieved in the political and institutional context that I just described. Now, in terms of politics in the sense of, yes, people wanting things for their districts, and yes, things being distorted in that way. You know what? The more, the more people actually think about the transit product, the more they realize that what they want in their wards isn't really the solution. I'll give you an example. A lady who's very active in um, Transit politics out in Scarborough wrote me a uh, email on hearing out down and shared with me an email that she written to uh, Dan to Daniel over here, um, complaining about you know why Scar why there's any question why Scarborough deserves subways. And her explanation was, we have people in Scarborough need to get to all over the region. They need to get to the airport. They need to get to the to York University. They need to get up to jobs in the New York region in places like Vaughn Center, they need to get to Mrs. Summers. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so why do you want the subway that takes you into poor? Um, if you're going to all those other places, don't you want a grid? <laughs> don't you want the ability to get across? She's got some valid complaints. Like, it is really frustrating to try to get across down on Shepherd with all those transfers you have to make every time the technology changes. Yes, there are problems with that. But what the, but the actual desire that she's complaining about, which is actually a desire for multi-directional travel provided by multiple intersecting lines, which cannot all be subways if you want to live to see them built, <coughs> right, is actually a very different vision from the one that she has intensively gotten focused on. So here's the thing. I don't get stuck on the notion that, oh, there's politics, therefore there's no hope. I see my role as being to try to construct the rhetoric and the description of the outcomes that will win in the politics and that will make provincialism look petty. And once provincialism looks petty to enough people, people will stop doing it. Um, it you know, uh, politicians won't be extremely provincial if they look silly doing it. And if it looks like they're in opposition to something like citywide abundant access. If they really want to be against that, they're welcome to. So that's what so I So let think. me just interrupt you there, Manager. So do you think that in getting the conversation